Hello. I just realized I'm an idiot. And I was in the Discord all along. Yes, there you are. See? Okay. So what are we doing? Where are we going? So I gave uh, you guys a link to a whiteboard. And let me give you the link to character sheets. So here's how this works. Okay. All right. I, I, I believe none of you folks have played Fate before, yes? Nope. nope. I never played it before. Perfect. So I'll explain how it works. Um, but here is a site you can use to make a character sheet. Do you have to use it? No, you can find character sheets elsewhere. We're playing Fate Core. Uh, however, it makes it easier for you if you do that. Um, Looking. All right. So here's how this is going to work. You folks are a heist crew. All right. And you are going to be going and breaking in to a bank vault and stealing the money and getting out. Or at least that's the goal. In order to do that, you're looking at... Let me put this up and let me hide that. Do we do find a, a character sheet? Uh, so, uh, no. Um, if you go up to character sheets... You should be uh, character sheet. You should be able to create one. If not, I can give you a blank one. Uh, uh, oh, okay. There's like five create buttons now. Up there. Uh, <laughs> fate, fate core. It's the towards the left, upper left. Okay. Fate okay. core. Fate Just, core. Yep. Fate core okay. is what we're doing for this one. There's a, should I create an account? Yes. No, no, no. Go straight oh. to scroll all the way at the very top, and a black bar should pop up with the yeah, tabs. Yeah, yeah. character sheets. Yeah, character sheets. Yeah. Yep. Fate core. Fate core. All right. So, the way right. fate works, uh, for those who don't know, and I guess I can, yeah, I guess I can use the, I can use my DM screen. Hold on one second. Let me hide that. And then we'll do this, and then we'll do. What would I list this game wise? Dungeon tabletop Dragons RPGs. Or? Is that actually a category? Yes, now? it is. Mm -hmm. uh, does it have any viewers? Yes, it has about two thousand. We actually checked it earlier. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> We we were looking for that uh, for the D and D purposes, so I will likely be using that when we play D and D, for instance, because I'm also trying to do other RPGs. Mm. D and D definitely has more viewers. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> that is a hundred percent. See here. And there we'll yes. we'll do this. I guess I'll show my chat the, the character creator. Sure. So Thing. the way that fate works and the good news is this website has uh, a fate dice roller. Oh, cool. So you can use that. Um, I actually have physical fate dice, so I'll be using those. Basically, the way this game works is you have four dice. They are fudge dice or fate dice, depending on, you know, where you entered it. Uh, fate is based on fudge, so it's technically the same thing. But yeah, they're fate dice is what I'm going to call them. And they have plus, they have blank, and they have minus. You can use a normal D6 to simulate this, but it's easier if you have the actual fate dice. If you want to, though, and you have D6s and you, you prefer to use that, you're welcome to. The way you do stuff in the game, and again, I'll have to sort of, you know, try I'm out. How I finish this, this application, this character sheet. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Specs and skills and stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be real simple. Don't worry. I'll explain it in a second. Okay. 
explain to me this world. What are we, what are we, what, what is the world that we're in? All right. So you are in, um, as you far know, as like superhero, super villain world type of thing. So, so for right now, you folks are in a modern world. So modern setting. Um, think roughly nowadays. Um, as far as you're aware, there is nothing. All right, there is nothing. Like it, it, it's your fairly typical, normal world. So it's it, it's think nowadays. Think think modern, effectively. Um, as far as you're aware. And to that end, one sec. I'm just redownloading this GM screen. Um. Yeah. So, modern world. You folks have done heists before. You are uh, the easiest way to put it is you're you're established. Uh, heisters. Yeah, you're you're right, proper criminals. <laughs> All right. Ooh. You're, you're you you've got you've got some experience. You're you know you're not new to this. So here's how we're making our characters. Oh wait wait before we do that, let me explain the mechanics again. So you get the dice when you want to do something. All right. You're rolling the four dice, and you have to do a a wee tiny bit of math plus oh yeah is plus one minus is minus one and you literally look at them so for instance i rolled and i got plus plus minus minus uh, as you can imagine pluses cancel out with minuses so i'm left with zero on this dice roll then you have a skill on your character sheet you add that and whatever the end result is is what you got Okay. Nothing too crazy so far. Skill plus the four dice. I'm sorry. Explain it. Ex explain it again. Sure. <laughs> when you do something, you're rolling four dice. Now there is a fate dice roller on that site, so you can do it that way, or you can roll regular d6s if you want. I'll explain after if you want to translate it. You're rolling four dice. You add your skill. You let okay. me know what you get. So, whatever my skill that I'm trying to use in the moment it's, determines my. Okay. Yes. Always, you're always rolling four dice, but okay, you're adding your skill to it. Um, you also have fate points. So, fate points are used. Uh, everyone starts with three. Okay. And. They let you do things like re-roll a roll. They let you get a bonus to your roll. And they let you uh, activate certain powers. We're not really going to be exploring that this time, so don't worry about that too much. Yeah, so the big thing you need to know is they let you re-roll. They let you add a bonus to your roll. You can earn fade points by me basically kind of dicking you over a little bit. Don't worry. I'll show you examples as we play. And that's basically it in a nutshell. So each of you has a role on the heist team. H have any of you, have you folks seen like Ocean's Eleven or like, mm -hmm. the, you know, the Thomas Crown Affair, like those sort of movies? Yeah. Son of a bitch. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Damien, have you seen it? Mm hmm. All right. So to that end, you folks have a rough idea of some of the roles that you, you might have on a heist team. So first. I remember talking about this. Yeah, I wanted to play like a, a data character. Or... Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so pick a name. What's your name? It, it could be anything. Name was easy. M Morning Star. Uh, of course, of course. So we've got Morning Star. We've got. I'm just going to be Damien Knight, but my pronoun I choose is dude. Nice. All uh, right. My, my description is the dude. Okay. I'm going to play a kid of some kind. So I got to think of a, a, a kid name. It's going to be uh, 
gonna be it's gonna be Billy. Billy the kid. kid. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be like gonna be... Tabernacle or something. <laughs> it's gotta be something like like really like a, like a really annoying like that really annoying know it all kid back in school. Eugene. Oh fuck! That's a much better name, Eugene. <laughs> Eugene is definitely that kid. Eugene always knows everything. Simmons. Eugene. Eugene Oswald. Oswald. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Eugene that fits. Oswald. All right. All right. That yeah. That 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 fits very well. I could totally see that. All right. So we've got Damian Knight, the dude. And I'm I'm making little note cards here so that I have that info. We have Morningstar. Morningstar. Franklin. Franklin Morningstar? Morningstar? Yes, but you can call me Frank. All right. And we have Eugene Oswald. <laughs> Oswald. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. That's right. That's right. All right, now. That's right. What? is your role on the heist team. This is your high concept. So as an example, the example that I often give, Han Solo is a thief with a heart of gold. That's kind of his high concept. That's like the 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 through line for his thing. Vader was kind of Dark Lord of the Sith. Like it's it's his through line for again the high concept of the character. Mm. Um these uh-huh. are what tech guy uh, that yeah. makes perfect sense so eugene is the tech guy i know a guy so you- <laughs> i know uh everyone almost i've been around these parts since before you could remember the well-connected yeah, old guy. man <laughs> the well-connected yeah. <laughs> sits in the park and feeds the pigeons but uh he he like used to be married to some mob boss's daughter so like he knows a guy who knows a guy for everything of course so you're the, you're the the well-connected old man of course yeah and damien right. uh the dude i mean the dude's got to be like like the demolitions guy you know the lay down a hundred rounds uh you know in a minute and then worry about the pickup later demo <laughs> and heavy weapons <laughs> yeah fucking of course what's his name from oceans <laughs> Yes. We're going to be in Bonnie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bonnie <laughs> Rubble. Bonnie Rubble. Trouble. Uh, Trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So your demo and heavy weapons. I love it. All right. Now, one last thing. Think of your skills as a pyramid. You're going to have one at four. You're going to have two at three. You're going to have three at plus two. You're going to have four plus one. We're not going to set most of those right now. We're only going to set your best one. Uh, for the sake of this, we're just going to use the built-in skills. They are highly customizable. We can change them in the future. For the purposes of testing this and trying it out, we're not going to try. We're just going to use the built-in ones. If you want me to explain them, feel free. To that end, though. Crafts. What is crafts? Is that going to be tech? Um, You know what? We'll say sure. Like, I imagine that's, like, your ability to, like, craft things yep make usually things? and and to be honest we'll, we'll 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 make that the tech one for this one okay sure cool i'm a little confused about why the 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 skills are in a five by five grid so so as you level up you can get more skills right but again this is a one shot so we're not so are we just using the the left column only, basically? Um. So you're gonna. So it, remember, it's a pyramid. So at first, you're only gonna use the first slot in plus four. You're gonna use the first two in plus three, et cetera, et cetera. You get the pattern. It's a okay. pyramid. Okay. So so plus four. Yes. Uh, so this is your best skill. This is the thing you are best at. I don't know what half of these would mean. What notice? Re- re- notice. Re- think re- of it like perception. Mm-hmm. Perception, yeah. What was the uh, other one? Ra- rapport. 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 Think of it like persuasion. Well, that's how you spell rapport. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I know, right? English language is dumb. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, like, would... for my plus four, I would be like contact. Yes. Yeah, that would make oh, yeah, perfect definitely. 
and then well, my plus three would be like empathy. Well, you're not setting any of your plus three right now. Okay, I didn't know. You don't have to. I mean, yes, it might be. What, so you'll see. What would be blowing up shit? Uh, if I had a guess, shoot. Shoot? Shoot? Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Well, blowing shit up to destroy it would be shoot. Blowing shit up to just get inside would be burglary, right? Potentially. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think he cares whether it gets destroyed or it or shoot it is. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And again, you you can so an art form. There's no it's purpose to it. It's definitely an art form. <laughs> uh, we we can so in this game you can customize the skills for again, just for the purposes of the one shot, I'm not, but you could we could make the list like anything we wanted and, and go from there, oh, right? Oh so, shit. Okay, so you, cool. Yeah. So you can have like demolitions if you want it as a skill. Like we could do that. Oh. Um you know, and we can make a technology skill or computers or whatever that the whole thing. But anyway, so we're just okay, cool. So we've got uh, the tech guy who has uh, crafts as their primary thing. Yeah, we've got get, let's get this right. The tech kid. Oh, I'm I apologize. <laughs> You're right. Your high concept is the tech kid. Right. I how how foolish of me. Um, the, the gold medalist from the science fair every year. <laughs> of course, Damian Knight, the he's, demo and heavy weapons guy. He's a Geek Squad special agent. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yes. exactly. No, yeah, he's the he's the the sixteen year old that got hired at Geek Squad before he's legally allowed to work because oh. he's just that. <laughs> he's just so good, perfect. Yes. Um, <laughs> Damian Knight, who has shooting as their specialty and their heavy weapons, so that also fits. And then Franklin Morningstar, the well connected old man who has contacts as their primary thing. All right. So we're going to be doing character creation on the fly. What that means is while we're playing, I'm going to call for roles for things. If you don't already have the skill on your sheet, you can choose to add it on your sheet at whatever level you want to represent your character, you know, how good they are at it. Um, so basically it'll give you a chance to kind of you know, flesh out your character as you go. Similarly, sorry. Similarly, if you have a scene and you roll and you fuck up the roll and you want to spend a fate point to re-roll it, well, you have to have an aspect of so aspects are pithy phrases about your character. Uh Thief with a Heart of Gold kind of fits that theme, of course. Um, fish out of water might be another one. You, you kind of get the idea behind the character. They're good things and they're bad things. If I use them, they're bad things. If you use them, they're good things. If I use them against you, I give you a fade point, but I'm compelling you to do something. So I'll show you how that goes later. Cool. Everyone's still with me? I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Were we supposed to have another person? I keep seeing that uh, someone keeps joining the other channel in uh, Baron's Discord. I didn't know if she like didn't have an invite to this one or. Oh. No. Uh, okay, cool. If if there were if they want to join us, they certainly could. Uh, I think it's Jay Grace. Yeah. I don't know who it is. I just wanted to make I sure we weren't missing someone. Yeah, Amber, if you want to join us, if you're if you're listening, you certainly yeah. You, well, hold are checking now. They're they're welcome to. Maybe yeah, because I, I wasn't in this Discord before, and I have no idea why. Maybe it just didn't click to me at some point, but uh, yeah. So I would understand. It's all good. Yeah, we'll I check forgot you had a little ghosty dude as your Discord. Yeah. I, yeah, I love it. Scrolled right past it. Yeah, and I must have missed it because I like never leave Discords. <laughs> I have ones from years ago. <laughs> I have folders and folders on my thing. No worries. It's it is all it is all good. So I'll give uh, Beholder a chance to double check with them and see. That's that should be fine. So yeah, so, so far I have my my high concept as knows everyone, and then my uh, my trouble as now? knows everyone. You like, should you should write your concept down. That is your high concept. No, that are we supposed to be doing the troubles and aspects yet? Uh so aspects, um, so aspects. Say you fuck up the roll, uh, mm -hmm. and you want to spend a fate point to reroll. You have to have an aspect that fits 
because we're doing character creation on the fly, at that moment, you can write down an aspect that would be relevant. Okay. Um, okay. You know, friend, Later friends on. in low places, for instance, is, is an example. Ooh. Yes, exactly. Friends in high places. Is another example. Exactly. I'm um, yeah. friends in low places with a whiskey. Yes, that is. That I is... did that on Twitch Sings. Don't don't get me started. <laughs> so yes, but you see exactly. That's that's the idea. All right, and I think, uh, oh, stunts are things that basically they tweak skills. In specific circumstances, they either give you bonuses or they let you use a skill in a situation you normally wouldn't. So. You know, ordinarily you need burglary to pick a lock, but with the stunt, uh, you know, locksmith in the in my back pocket, you actually can use contacts because you're literally like getting your lock picking buddy to come yeah. out and pick the door for you. <laughs> you know, whatever. Like, get up my homie. Be a lock smasher. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you can have a lock smasher too. I know a guy who works in this building. Let me see if he's home. You know. <laughs> Yeah, so those are what extras are. It's a rat on our tail. What are we going to do? Hold on. I know a guy. Let me call him. He'll be here in 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it turned out he was actually around the corner the whole time because maybe you have to spend a fate point to, like, he was waiting nearby. Um, cause, yeah, and, and you can you, you can make them, the crazier they are, they usually require spending a fate point to activate. Yeah. Yeah, but, it you know, you, you kind of get the idea. Again, you get to create them on the fly in some sense um, because we're doing it on the fly character creation. This is optional, but it's fun. Okay, so to that end, you folks is is Amber joining us by the way, Beholder or no? Mm -mm. Okay. Just checking. Um no, they are tired. Oh, it's no, it's all good. Sleepy. So um you folks have been hired to hit uh the trustee bank. Uh, I, I say hired, that's not quite right. You've decided to take it upon yourselves to hit it uh, for a big score. Mm. You have the opportunity and the motive, so why not? Uh, it's up to you how you want to approach it, but the end result is the same. You'd like to get in, and in fact, here, I'll even put these objectives on the screen for you. Get in. Oh, that's uh, right. You have the other screen. Get in. Whiteboard. Get the money. Get the whiteboard. Yes. Which get all it. I see on the whiteboard is a blueprint. Yes. So <laughs> I, I, I can put here. I'll, I'll put the text on there for you folks as well. How do I get rid of the expiration date? Uh, so the expiration date, uh, I can disable that technically. I, I just yeah, set it annoying. to expire because, you know what, here, we'll, we'll do this. I just hold control and scroll out. It works great. Yeah. Control. Huh. Oh, it, oh. It just oh. changes the base size of the uh, browser window. Yeah. Gotcha. That way it's tiny. Here. Get the money. Uh, um, oops. What okay, happened? You can undo. Never mind. Didn't do nothing. Y yes, you can. Seems fine. And I've said it so that people shouldn't be able to erase other people's stuff. Because, uh, boy, does that get fun. Um, so, yeah, get in, get the money, get away. And, yeah, you can literally do stuff like, we got to go there. And there. It's going to be fun. Alrighty. So, yes, get in, get the money, get away. Now, you folks know that there's usually some amount of legwork involved, figuring out guard schedules and stuff like that. Essentially, so you're aware, there's four actions in Fate. There's there's four high-level things you do. Overcome, number one. Overcome is usually, you know, you, <laughs> nice. you have an obstacle, you have a challenge, you want to get past it. A, do a, a locked door is in your way, you want to get to the other side of it. That That's overcome. Create an advantage. You want to set up a situation so that 
later on when you're doing something, you have a better chance. For instance, you want to give somebody like a bribe, for instance, or you want to set up a situation where, you know, you're bringing this high tech, you've created a high tech device to pick the lock of the vault ahead of time. That's creating an advantage. Attack, it does what it says on the tin. Defend, also does what it says on the tin. Those are the only four actions. That's it. Literally everything you do is that, basically. Is is there a list of these? Um, Yes, I can give you folks a copy. Uh, so the core rules are actually free. Uh, fatesrd.com. I'll give you folks a link. Let me let me pull them up for you right now. How about that? Hold on. Uh, here we go. Here we go. I will give you. Uh, here. That is correct, chap. Those are exactly it. Uh, but here is. We'll do this. We'll do this. There you go. There you go. And there you go. All right. Wait, where did you send this? Discord? Um, where? I sent it to your Discord, like your DM directly. Oh, okay. It just didn't refresh for me. Okay. Actions and outcome. Okay. Oh, there's another screen. that back there there we go share that that way it's less goofy all right so there you go it, it, that's just the the Ooh. oh boy all right i clicked something now i'm getting confused <laughs> uh here sorry four actions <clears throat> it's it's the four actions again I'll, I'll i'll describe it as we play don't worry about it I'll I'll say it again, okay? Don't don't tell me what action you want to do. Tell me literally what you want to do, and I'll I'll just have you roll and explain. All right. It. So then we don't need to worry about the action. Yeah, you'll be fine. Just I'll say, and then you'll say that's that kind of thing. Yes. Easy enough. Yep. No worries. Okay. So yes, there you go. You you have your your crew. Uh, it's a three man crew. It's a a relatively light operation, so you might have to do a little. Bit of leg work to figure out. Okay. Well, lucky um, for me, I've got a great leg. Just the one. Oh yeah. The other one's not great. <laughs> Where is the stuff you put in disc? Oh, you sent it directly. Yeah. DM. Okay. Um. All right. So, so, so my my dude would be just staring at the the plan here rubbing his overly grown nappy beard uh and uh be, and he would go mm, i don't know how thick this uh vault is uh we're gonna need some information we're, we're gonna need some some in, inside information otherwise i don't know how much c4 to bring can i say that uh someone contacted me with the information of when it would be best suited to rob it and that's where i got the idea so, Man, if it was me, I would have robbed it on this day, something like that. So, um, you you can't, but what you could do is let me reach out to my contacts and see mm. if maybe they can tell me. I know people. Let me reach out to my contacts and see when the best time to rob this place is. Dig it. All right. So, do you want to do that? You can certainly do yeah. that. And, um, let me reach out to some people and just try to get a little 
little bit of information about this building, the history of it. See if there are any weak spots we can exploit. Yeah. Yeah. Find out if that vault's tungsten or not. Tungsten. All right. I'm writing it down. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, go ahead and roll contacts for me. So, again, all you're doing is you're rolling. The, Where so, is the dice roller? If you go to the main page up at the top, there's a fate dice roller. Uh, I got minus one. The main now, page? Yeah, fatecharactersheet.com. Okay. And then if you look in the menu, that's, there's uh, that's without my modifier. So, so go ahead and add your, your skill as well. Oh, I see. So minus one, and then your skill was, was great, right? You're plus four? Four? Uh, yeah, it's it's four. So you got a good result. All right. So, uh, you know. Uh, hello. Oh, yes. Um, well, personally, I mean, the, the vault's plenty thick. Uh, did you say tungsten? Yes, I, uh, yeah, the, the vault is... They'll go through and they'll explain that, yes, the vault wall is tungsten, that uh, they're actually uh, a few days from now, uh, they'll actually be getting a pickup. They haven't had a pickup in a few days, so their vault is uh, plenty full. Um, and yes, and, and that's what you'll get with a good result. So this introduces uh, a thing called... Uh, scene aspect or uh, an invocation so um, what you folks are going to get because you just rolled that because this is creating an advantage is uh, knowledge of the best time to strike all right all right and that's there all right and Ooh. basically what you get is now ordinarily you do this with like index cards and shit like that. This is basically going to give you. I said that you can spend fate points to get a bonus or a reroll. This functions like that, but you don't need to spend a fate point to do it. So these will help you in the future. You've got some knowledge of the best time to strike. Uh, a few days from now, they're going to be draining it out. So just before then, they're probably going to be you know, is the ripest time. Um, oh, okay. So this isn't like the best time to strike. This is more like the most, most lucrative time. To yes. Strike. Literally okay. the best for money goes time to strike. Okay. Um, if you want to. Well, the FBI called me to become a white hat hacker for them, but I said, that's boring. So I became a black hat hacker. I'm going to use some of my, cracks his knuckles my internet and hacking ways to figure out the shifts of the guards sure go for it so go ahead and roll crafts for me okay crafts. Can, can you get into my aol sorry i i can't help you there <laughs> nobody uses aol anymore <laughs> oh that's the secret it's secure so I'm rolling crafts? Yes. Which is my plus four? Yep. Okay. Yep. I got a minus, a plus, a plus, and a minus. For so a total of four. So a minus, a plus, a plus, and a minus. So those cancel out. So yeah, just plus four. Okay. Uh, so you got a great result. So yeah. So basically, you know, you're sort of... Um, so... You definitely succeed. Now, you were looking for the guard rotation, right? Yes. So, um, I think that... And any other information, like blackmail... I'll, I'll roll again if I have to, but blackmail information that I could use on one of the guards. Ah! Maybe sleuth into their Facebooks, into their emails... Uh, you know what? I think with that, with a with a great result like you got, I think that that's fair. Um. So in that case, uh, embar. What do you think about embar? 
versing Facebook posts. What do you think? What about something that I could use to like blackmail them so that they might lose their job? Like maybe uh, an affair or racy uh, Facebook posts. Racy. Maybe the- Oh, or man. drugs, nice. yeah, or drugs. Drug or just like racy, racy um, um, photos, photos, racy photos, or racy like hobby. <laughs> like maybe he's a, maybe he's a he likes going to cocaine parties or. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> racy hobby <laughs> photos. How about that? Yeah, racy hobby photos. Okay, sure. Yeah, I could see that. I could easily see that. It's just, it's just his face covered in cocaine. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and we'll give you one one invoke on that one. All right. So, yeah, no, no, I could see that. I could see that. All right. Um, I'd like to take the information that we got uh, from uh, when he made that call before. He mm-hmm. got some information about the vault. Mm-hmm. I'd like to try to figure out what we would need to get because I see the vaults here are two doors. So I would like to see what we would need to get through that. Like if I can figure out what we would need to get through what I just heard is the vault. Sure. Now what you can do is see, so this is some of the, the choice that you get in this. Um, you, how do you want to go about it? Do you want to try and talk to somebody about it? Do you want to try and sort of think about like your knowledge of burglary and given the knowledge, like, all right, you know, it, I know locks and safes and things like that. And based on that and what they're describing, like you know, there's a few ways to approach it. Let me put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. All exactly. right. So in that I case, wanna, I want to, I want to check against my own knowledge versus what I just heard. Sure. So in that case, roll burglary for me. Now, do you have burglary yet? No, I just have shooting. So if mm-hmm. you want to, you can take burglary in one of the other slots that you have the two, Three slots, okay. the three right. two slots, or the four one slots. All right. Uh, all right. So we only get one four, so I guess I'll put it in three because you get two of those, right? Mm-hmm. That's correct. Okay. okay. Which makes sense. makes sense. I mean, you're heavy weapons, but you're still, at the end of the day, you know, you got to know how to get into a place. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm demo. Okay. So now I just roll. You do, and you would add three to it. Cause you're you're good at burglary. Did I did I get a zero? You can. What, what's a blank dice? Blank is a zero. Well, frick. So That's okay. I got a two. If you add the modifier. Oh, okay. So you you got a you got a fair result. Now, you you did get knowledge uh, about uh, you know with that conversation. So if you want, you you could use that to gain a plus two to this. So it, you would take yeah. it from a two to a four. Okay. All right. Okay, yeah. All right. So you you know, using the knowledge of the, the call you just got and, and sort of made and all that, um you you've got a great idea that I, I actually have a great idea. <laughs> oh boy. So um I see the guard rotation. Do I know anybody on it? You might. How what's that role? <laughs> we'll uh we'll check that in just a second um oh yeah no don't you worry um so yeah so you're trying to basically figure out how to get into the vault and all that right yeah if it's if it's closed like they see us coming or it's just happens to be one of those times where the timer hasn't it hasn't opened you know or something like that then how can we force it force our way in so how how about this you tell me if this makes sense Okay. Um, I'll 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 put it on the the board, and you can tell me if this if that looks right to you. <laughs> Prepare and uh, yep yep. Does that seem yep. fair? Does that seem fair? Yes. And with the great results, I you can you can you you've got you can invoke that twice. Now you were wondering about the guards, uh, <clears throat> the guard availability. Yes. Uh yeah, just if I recognized any of them like as homies or anything so how about um so that sort of thing i would actually say is spending a fate point so if you have an aspect so you 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 can now define an aspect that might be relevant 
for instance, friend. Uh, oh, go ahead. I will totally do that, and I want to. Um, I will totally spend a fate point, and I have an idea for an aspect actually. Well, so I want to find out like what kind of like what's the hardest drug that they will do, and then find because I used to be a smuggler, of course. So find the hardest drug that they are willing to do and then like send them a care package of it. So like a bunch of LSD or something, <laughs> they go out on a trip for the weekend. He's not going to be at work, right? Nice. And, and, and what was your, uh, what was the aspect you wanted to make? Uh, always has the hookup. I, all right. That seems fair. <laughs> uh, and I figured that would play into empathy or something, right? Um, interesting. Uh, it it That's could a, like get a gauge of people. Uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, yeah, I, I could see that. Sure. I could see that. Go ahead. So you don't have empathy yet. Would you like to take empathy? Yeah. And where do you want to slot it in? You got the threes, you got the two. Uh, I'm, I want to say that I'm okay with empathy, but not the greatest. So I'll so slot you're fair. it in two if that's cool. Yeah, you're fair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And go ahead and roll. Uh, that is a one. And that, I'm supposed to use the plus two, right? Or is that Add them all up. All of them? So, so like the plus four and the two? So no. So what did you get on the what dice? Uh, it is um, a negative and three blanks. Is that right? Uh, yes. So yeah. your two became a one. It factored yeah. that in. Yeah. If you want to, you could spend a fate point um, to re-roll that. And that's my second one, right, for this? Yes. Okay, I definitely will, because everything always goes Frank's way. <laughs> ah, is, is that you're going to be your uh, your your next aspect? aspect? Oh, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. All right. Always goes Frank's way. All right. And go ahead and uh, re-roll that. Statistically, just so you folks know, the dice tend to cancel out. So usually it's just your skill plus any bonuses you might have otherwise. Uh, sometimes they favor you. Sometimes they hurt you. But usually they cancel out. Um, Makes sense. Yeah, it's it's just a it's just a one. I think I clicked it twice, so it's a one and a zero. So <laughs> it's the one the one was first. It's a a minus, a blank, a plus, and a minus. <laughs> okay, okay. Which is great. Well, in this case, that's okay, though. That's enough. So, um, I'm not going to put invokes on this. Well, actually, you know what? I, I would. I'll, I'll put an invoke on here. So, this is, they're going to be down a guard. Uh, because they're home high as fuck. High as fuck. Oh, yeah. That makes, uh, that makes plenty of sense. Um, all right. Anything else? Again, ahead of time. I like this game. <laughs> uh, all right, here's a question. Yes. Um, is there equipment in this game? Like, do we have to worry about like obtaining equipment for the bank job? So, um, guns, vests, you know, ammo. I don't know. So there can be equipment. But usually it's fairly, it's more narrative than an actual thing. Like, uh, you guys have guns, right? You have, you know, you have Vesta like that. If you wanted special equipment, things that like, you know, like really thick vests or something like that, it, you know, you could do that. Um, so, so we can assume that we would have anything that any burglar could pick up at any sporting good place. Yes. That is a fair okay. assumption. Okay. And if you wanted uh, a lot of it or more of it, you could roll resources, which is basically you spending money to get like more or better stuff. Now, as a demos guy, can I just assume that I would have plenty of explosives stored somewhere? Not only do you have plenty, you have an appropriate amount of explosives. <laughs> okay. 
(laughs) (laughs) So one thing about aspects and especially these sort of things or scene aspects and stuff like that is um, they are both a thing that you can sort of invoke for bonus and all that. And also a true statement about reality. So they are down a guard. That is true. They are missing a guard. Now you can obviously use that to your advantage, but it is true. Um, oh, you, you, ooh, you know what I mean? You made me think of an aspect. Yes. You just made me think. So, so my guy, there's, there's always enough boom. There's always enough boom. Mm-hmm. I could see that. All right. There's always enough boom. I would think you'd say there's never enough boom. <laughs> but but no, I think no, no. with enough with enough prep, there's always enough. All right. No, that's fair. That's fair. All right. Uh, I think that's fair. That's very clever too, because. Um, like you could just take smaller explosives and place them in such a way to where it has more of an effect, or you can prep better and make a bunch of really cheap explosives, just a Mm -hmm. lot of it, you know? (laughs) Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's good. Well then. Mm -hmm. Uh... So I have, I have one more prep uh, question. Yeah. Um, so I, I would turn to the party because everybody's kind of like in different parts of the room doing their thing, you know, yep. one's on the computer, one's on the phone. Of course. I would go, hey, 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 guys, can any of you uh, maybe get some dirt on one of them to have them open this back door here by the storage room? I've already got it under control. Nice. So could Seems he... one of our guards has some racy hobbies, and I've got photos. Very good, very good. So could he somehow set up to chain, uh, exchange that photo for leaving the back door open? That's a good plan. I think we can work that. Uh, yeah. Why is, my, why is it such a horrible color? How do I change my color? What do you mean? Like when I draw, it's just like oh, barely. Up, up to the left, uh, where it says draw, click it, and it'll... It'll show you the color wheel. Oh, nice. Yes. All right. So this door right here. Because that brings us like real close to the vault. Um, yeah. I mean, if if you want to, one of you can uh, sort of make the call and try to blackmail them using the racy photos. I'm definitely That's not, not the call something. Guy. Yeah, I'm definitely not the call guy either. I'm just a fucking like sixteen year old kid. <laughs> uh, I I don't call next door to blackmail people. I have a guy for that. <laughs> okay, cool. He's a he's a voice actor out of Jersey. He's always looking for good work. Sounds scary already. <laughs> All right, yeah, you can you can certainly do that. Um, I think that in this case, um. I think that this is actually a stunt that you would have uh, to allow you to use contacts instead of uh, provoke. So, um, okay. so you can put oh, down like he like he provokes via na- like name drops or phone calls. Basically, like, he's calling on. somebody else. Hey, all right, I'm gonna give you a number. Call this need guy. Need you to extort for me. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like, Same deal. I'll pay you forty-five. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll pay you forty-five dollars and a large pepperoni. You know, deep dish, just like you like. I won't tell your mom. I swear. And then you know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So yeah. so so go ahead and uh, roll your contacts. Come on, good roll. And the the stunt would probably be like long distance provocation or something like that nice uh i got a five all mm. right is that a thing <laughs> it is that is superb 
Um, oh, shit. So I, so we found a ton of racy photos. They're really fucking bad, and he really <laughs> doesn't want them out. <laughs> so yeah. So you know what? So what we'll say is, uh, that'll that. So the racy photos gave you the oppor- the the leverage to it basically, uh, and you use it. <laughs> and yes, they will. They will open that door for you. Um, Beautiful. Um, so, so um, <laughs> this is what I would say. This is what I would say to everybody. Uh, Literally, the blueprints in this case. here. I would I would draw on the blueprints. I'm like, all right. So if he's going to leave this door open for us, all right. All we need to do is sneak in through this door, sneak in into the storage room, and with a large amount of explosives right here in between the two vault walls, we could actually blow a hole into both vaults, into the safe deposit and the teller vault. All while having cover through the doors here for yeah. people coming at us. I like it. Are you the, uh, are you the hard man? Are you going for the cash? I'm not exactly as spry as I used to be. I can carry a few uh, duffel bags, at least. I've got a plan. Hmm. I I think. Look at the youngster proving his worth already. (laughs) Yes. What does the surrounding area of this building look like? Are we, like, in a big city with tall skyscrapers? Are we in like a rural sort of setting? So this is mm. this is more suburban. This is uh, think in the middle of a like a shopping center. Uh, yeah, kind of like a strip mall. And then this is kind of like in the parking lot as like a standalone building, but in the park standalone lot. building in the parking lot. Okay, so original idea is not going to work. Uh, um, so pretty open, so like, yeah, so besides that back open. door, most angles are going to be able to yeah, be seen yeah, yeah. pretty well, yeah, 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 pretty open, pretty open, pretty open. Uh, okay, I want to see if maybe I can rig together a swarm of drones <laughs> to to come in and grab like a couple of the smaller bags. And take them to a predetermined location. What is the weight limit of drones nowadays? I'm talking like a swarm. <laughs> <laughs> a drone swarm? Okay, yeah. yeah. Like a drone swarm. So this sounds like a stunt, too. Oh, yeah. Interlocked. Yeah. I, I definitely think this would be a stunt. Um, so, yeah, give me a fate point and um, go How ahead. How many fate points do I have right You start now? with three. Okay, so I'm giving you a fate point, so now I have two. And um, that's what the FP on the character sheet means, by the way, on the upper right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, go ahead and eh, roll crafts. I think crafts is still appropriate in this case. Okay. Yeah, he's crafting some kind of, yeah. you know, like bound together drone thing, like mm-hmm. they're all carrying like a giant net. Is there some sort of under system to this, like a sewer or an underneath to the building? Ah, that is a good question. Um, you said it's you th- said it's suburban. It is suburban. Uh, Maybe mm. like like spillways or drainage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Sewers is what I was thinking. Yeah. So yeah. It, like a like a strip mall in a in like a suburban area would at least have a like a drainage sewage, you know. Storm drains. Storm, yeah, storm drains. I mean, like, I can, see I can that. tell you, I can tell you from personal experience that I have entered a storm drain that goes underneath a shopping center. That had to be disgusting and a half. It, it was actually a place where we used to throw raves. Uh, <laughs> you'd be surprised what you can clean for a rave. Park, it's, <laughs> no, it's really fucking cool because we parked a van over the top of the storm drain on the parking lot. It was just a grate and we hooked up a generator and ran the power down to the drain, down the drain oh, shit. and into the big open area. Well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Coolest thing ever. Uh, okay, so is there a system? 
So, if somebody would like to give me a fate point, yes, there is. So, okay, so I'm going to give you the fate point for the drone rig. Yep. To carry away the smaller bags. Sure. Maybe like in the uh, the safety deposit boxes, maybe diamonds or like high value like Quite items possible. that are put inside of those 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 things. So smaller, Definitely smaller bags. Mm -hmm. They'll be taken to a predetermined location. So I got uh uh minus minus plus and the nothing. So, so minus three? minus plus and blank. Is a minus one, but then your crafts is a four, right? Mm hmm So you got a good result. Sure, you could do that. All right, cool. And that was a stunt? Uh it was. And it was it allowed you to use crafts to uh in this case uh, use drones for a predetermined purpose. So I'm not going to put an invocation on this, but um, basically you'll you'll have this, this. You sort of created this aspect to the scene of a drone swarm getaway, uh, where you can sort of get some of this loot out. Sort of, basically, it'll fly it off. Okay. Uh, not so explain to me the aspects. Sure. So these are aspects. These are things that. Uh, apply to you know the scene and you can basically so like, about the 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 like always enough explosives what was that ah that was the that was there's always enough boom you mean yeah that's an aspect on his character so right so you have an aspect you have aspects they're usually pithy little phrases they sum up bits about your character and oh. you use them to gain bonuses or uh, re-roll dice. I use them to compel you to do certain things. Mm. Okay. Uh, so I want it to be like a James Bondy sort of an aspect, um, like always a gadget. There's always a tool, a, a gadget for the job, or always a yeah. Always I was just thinking MacGyver. As yeah, a, uh, MacGyver. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. MacGyver. Modern day MacGyver. MacGyver. Modern day MacGyver. Sure. Yeah. I could see that. All right. Yeah, That's sure. Great. I like it. Like as as you were saying it, I was like, man, MacGyver is like a like he takes a toothpick and an is avocado it, and is a he straw. Constantly playing with uh, paper clips. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Making yeah. little things out of paper clips. All right, you are a modern day MacGyver. Yeah, I could see that as a as an aspect. Sure. All right, cool. So that's my done. My grandpa was an inspiration for the show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> my grandpa was the real MacGyver. <laughs> okay, so is it the, the sewer system? Let's move to that. <laughs> ah, yes. So um, there is a sewer system, generally speaking, but... If you would like to, do, so what you can do with the fate point, among other things, is declare a story detail. So if you would like to say there is, in fact, a sewer system underneath the building, somebody can give me a fate point. Uh, I will use my last fate point to make it where the explosion point where we're going to explode is where the sewer system is. So we can just blow a big hole and then jump through it. <laughs> um, well, you, you've got is one last aspect to define. What, what would it be that would apply that? Fucking lucky. <laughs> yeah, lucky's good. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> lucky. lucky. Yeah. <laughs> has, how about has, has all the luck. Okay. Does that seem fair? That's all the luck. I guarantee that's going to come back to bite me in the ass, but oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And I will happily take your fate point. Yes. The sewer system that you guys are asking about is, in fact, roughly under this point here. You see, if we use a bit more explosives and spread it out like a big triangle, we'll hit all hmm. of it at once. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. 
perfect. So we can literally like climb through these holes into the safes and just toss stuff down into the sewer. Well, I was a temp worker at this same bank when it was built, you see. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Back in like 39. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 1839. Um all right. <laughs> Anything else? 1839. Yeah. I'm 223 years young. <laughs> <laughs> he has all the luck. He's avoided death at every turn. So, your middle, your middle name is actually Methuselah. <laughs> when we got these blueprints, are there any like auto locking doors anywhere else inside of the building? Do we know oh, where they are? That's why we have a hacker. Um, yeah, you could certainly try and find that. Yeah. Okay. So I want to know. I want to know where the cameras are. I want to know where the mm. auto locking doors are. And I want to know where the um, the panic button is. Sure. Now, in this case, I would say this is investigate. Sure. OK. Do you have so, investigate yet? I don't, but I'm would, feeling like a hacker does. So probably. I'm going to put point. I'm going to put three. I'm going to put that. I'm yeah. going to take an investigation into yeah. my skills. That makes perfect sense. Okay. You would be good at investigating stuff. Okay. So and my uh, modifier is three. Yep. I'm going to roll. And I got a blank, a minus, minus, a blank. So Oof. I got a one. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can spend a fate point, if you have an appropriate one, to re-roll. Or add a plus two. Hmm. Up to you. Do you have a preference? Yeah, hmm. no. I'm I'm gonna hold on to these okay. fate points and I'm gonna hold on to this roll so unf- right now. So yeah, you did so. you did all right, but unfortunately in the details you were given, they weren't uh, they weren't present. You 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 scoured through, checking and and sort of looking online, but it was just a little too tough. Okay. Okay. These are the corporate blueprints that every bank will have. the The ones for the particular security system are unique for each bank. Those will be in the manager's office. And we might as well rob the entire thing if we're going to rob the manager's office. Uh, okay. I'm just trying to find... I, I, see, I foresee an issue already, so... We have to be careful with those explosives in that storage room. What if we blow too big of a hole for us to get across and into the vault? Mm. I know. Yeah. We'll bring some planks of wood. Oh, yeah. Smart! To lay, to lay them across the hole so we can walk across it if we need to. This kid's sharp as a shillelagh. Do you want to buy some wood? I'll buy some wood. <laughs> Go we'll ahead. Buy some, some fucking, I don't know, uh... <laughs> You know how much yeah. two boy fours cost? Uh, I know. We might as, we crazy. have to rob a bank hey, if we're going to make a profit. <laughs> listen, I know a guy. He's in lumber. <laughs> oh. <laughs> go, go, of course go ahead. Do. Roll resources for me. Whoever's <laughs> trying to buy them. <laughs> let me just search up. Let me let you start. Oh, yeah. Tim. Timber, <laughs> go, go, go ahead. Whoever's whoever's doing the buying, go ahead and roll resources for me. Who's doing it? Are we buying or are we or are we using the guy? I mean, I got I got plenty of money saved up. I would definitely yeah, I just the old man's probably yeah, like yeah. pretty rich. Yeah, I mo- throw money around like it isn't nothing. I just do this for funzies. <laughs> just apparently. Doing this for funzies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He just does it yeah. for funzies. That sounds like an okay. aspect. Yeah, I like to yeah. sponsor entrepreneurs. You know. Yeah. Plus, if I don't do something this risky every couple of years, it's kind of hard for me to get an erection. You know. <laughs> so, wow. is your is your resources good? Then is that what you're saying? What are you saying? 
I don't actually have it. So well, is that something I'm putting in? That's up to you. At three? Are I you? imagine at three. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> All right, go ahead. I wasn't sure it. what resources was, so yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's money, basically. It's a it's a one. And that's with your plus three. Plus three. Yeah, it's blank, blank, minus, minus. Well, the good news is, it's only lumber. So yes, you you can <laughs> actually get. <laughs> Where is the actual entrance to this place? I bribe a guy, but I'm like extra oh. old, so I'm like, oh, here's a Finsky, and it's a ten dollar bill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place, young buck. Plank of wood. Uh up 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 uh here, hold on, let me there. That's the actual entrance. Oh, okay. It's a covered entry with a vestibule. So we're coming okay. in like the employee entrance? Yes, basically. Or the back door, at least, yeah. Slash emergency exit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, technically okay, it's the emergency is, exit. Okay, the I actual. So so th this right. is the emergency exit. This is the employee entrance. This yeah. is the main one. Oh, so that's the emergency exit. Yes. Which means an alarm's probably going to go off when that door opens. Well, if it's a security guard, open it. He'll have the key to turn off the alarm on the door. True. Uh, okay. All right. Cool. 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 We're good then. Um. Shit. Anything else? Hmm. Well, kid can't really help too much when it comes to getting shit out of the fucking vault and rigging explosives and all that shit. So, I think we need a diversion. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like that what would is... definitely be my guy's specialty. Hmm. It certainly could be. We could always start a small little fire at one of the empty stores nearby. Yeah, but that'll just bring police and uh, fire to the area and they'll be closer to us. Hmm. What diversion wouldn't bring police? Knockout gas in the ventilation system? I think I can rig up a gadget for that. <laughs> I think that that is a, a stunt. But yes, I can see that. All right. So um, if you want... You oh, can go ahead. I wanna I wanna wait until we know how we're gonna get the gas in the ventilation system first. I don't wanna waste any points and not have a way to administer oh, yeah. the plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't see a I don't even see a <laughs> see a trap. I don't even see anything on here marking like a venting ventilation system, even though there's gotta be one. Mm -hmm. How about this? Kittens. We, we just we just unleash like 50 kittens in the building that way when the explosion happens people will will the natural instinct will take over and they'll protect the kittens mm. Mm -hmm. you ever seen <laughs> someone who doesn't want to protect a kitten in danger that's true the kittens <laughs> run away <laughs> Kittens are hard to corral. Exactly. They'll be so busy chasing them. And I got a kitten guy. <laughs> <laughs> of course he has a kitten guy. Of course he does. I know a kitten breeder. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You know what? Roll it. Cat breeder. Roll, roll it for me. Roll um. Is it, is it context or resources? You know what? Empathy. 
I don't know. You know what? I'm going to say that it's it's contacts in this case, because why not? That's that's hilarious. Where Go else do you get a giant box of kittens? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you got to pay for it, but you got to know somebody. You can't just pull it yeah. out your ass. Yeah. It's a, it's a three. Okay, you got you good. Oh, great. Box. <laughs> Box of kittens, great. There you go. Box of kittens. I you, like this game. <laughs> you just got a box of kittens. You just fucking give that shit up. Are there TVs inside of? The, are there TVs inside of the the bank? Are there like like waiting room like TVs or or Always. and things like that? Look at this giant waiting room they have. Yeah, probably. It's gotta be. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Okay. You know porn on the screen? No. Oh, no. I mean, if you wanted to do it, <laughs> I. I have an idea. Let's wait on this kitten plan and see if you like this one better. I am going to rig up and hack into the TVs inside of the bank and broadcast an emergency alert signal that states that there will be an earthquake in a few moments to duck and cover. Listen, Kevin, I'll call you back. <laughs> you canceling Kevin, the, the kitten. kitten. Guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin the kitten guy. Yeah. So, I rig up a system, hack into the TVs inside of the bank, broadcast a signal, and then it states that there's going to be an earthquake. This is an emergency broadcast system, official broadcast system. There will be an earthquake measuring around 5.5 on the Richter scale in approximately two minutes. Please seek shelter. Hmm. Well, you're gonna broadcast to, uh, that on the TVs. Then everybody prepares. Then the boom goes off, and nobody's any the wiser. Aren't you gonna have to prepare some kind of quick access back door or something into their system then, or something? I probably can, but that's why we do pre scouting and setup. When we we go for an initial visit to the bank, I'll. I'll uh, be uh, the our contact guy's son, and I want to open up a new account. You know that because I'm actually, sixteen. So 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 uh, so uh, that's a great idea. You said that it's a few days away. Yep. Could we do just a, you know, all of us go down there and just you know walk in the front door and as normal people, you know, and definitely look at the, take a look. Of course. I'm gonna put uh, my best bow tie on for this. Yeah, and let me uh, let me clean up, and then like he's got like like Cheeto dust all over his beard and shirt, and he just starts brushing it off. And, all right, I'm ready to go. Now, are you trying to like disguise yourselves at all, or are you just? No, I I'm we're not in masks when we go to rob it. So I'm not gonna disguise. I'm a 16 year old kid. All right, yeah, we're, we're just, we're, I, I have an account at that bank. So, I'm gonna, you know. gonna, I'm gonna put on I'm gonna put on my 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 shiniest thick black rimmed glasses, a big ass fat Bill Nye red bow tie, uh, white button up shirt with with black suspenders and slacks. Of course you are. I I'm gonna put on my my sandals and grab a Slurpee cup. <clears throat> This is my dad. <laughs> of course. Uh, I will have my uh, brown penny loafers, my slacks, and my this green my... blazer. This is my grandpa. He's convinced <laughs> my dad to open me up a savings account. <laughs> it's bonds, and you have to get them early. Oh, God. All right. Want to feed the pigeons. <laughs> I totally have an account at that bank. <laughs> of course you do. Now, wait, now, since he has... Since he has high resources, could you could it, could it be possible that he's big enough, like name that he could ask to talk to the manager about opening a bonds account? Oh, a special account, manager, a high interest, a low interest rate savings account. I think that if you wanted to give me a fade Fate point, dice. sure. <laughs> mm. Okay, well, first I need to see if I can, I can, I can code the program. To hack into their their television system and and install the 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 program, you you'll basically be doing that when you like you'll have the code sort of set up. Okay, a, you'll just be. Uh, it's just whether or not I can get it into the system. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yep. Um, 
Yes. So, all right, then. Making your way there, I'm assuming. Um, your, you know, you, you head in and so here's the thing, Franklin, you know, you have all the luck, but sometimes your luck, you know, bad luck is still luck. Oh no. And it's true. Now it's I'm, like a spectrum. It's like it's wishing like, from a genie. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> so as so you have uh so here here's I'm offering you a fate point. Um you get into a car accident on the way to the bank with a cop car. They're gonna remember you, first of all. You you can already guess that. Um but anyway. Uh, I'm I would off- like to use my fate point to know the cop. <laughs> well, if you want to, you can you can give me a fate point to refuse that. You can basically no, say- basically, no, I will take it because I don't have any, and then I would like to use it to be like, oh, it's my my, you know, my cousin's husband's nephew. Ah, <laughs> well, so if you get the fate point, you. You, you can certainly you try to right talk now. your way out of it, but yes, you can't, because that would sort of defeat the purpose of getting it. Okay, well, I didn't know. Worth mm-hmm. a try. No worries. Um, anyways, continue. So, you're, if you don't have any fate points, you now have one, as as he slams into the side of a cop car. Oh, Pretty quickly. Who, oh, who let them drive? Whoop, whoop. As I... Uh, you slam right into their uh, you T-bone them essentially into their passenger side the cop oh proceeds God. to swiftly get out uh, shaking it off the get out of the car of course <laughs> hands where I can see them I can ply in every way I can I get, I get out of the car but I still and I put my hands up, but I still have the Slurpee cup in one hand. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what? What the hell's? And they uh, they they approach you. What? What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, what do you mean? You came out of nowhere. The the sun's coming out. I had the right of way there. You? Are you are you blind? The the light was red. He is like a hundred years old. <laughs> um, go ahead and roll. So they're trying to provoke you. Go ahead and roll empathy. So to basically defend yourself. They're attacking you socially. So the way this works is um you can attack people physically, you can attack people mentally, usually with the usage of abilities which we're not again we're not really doing right now and you can attack people socially where like literally you're, you're applying social pressure on them because like you know they're people and this is you know society so they are attacking- i will do that i will attack him socially oh so you'll, you'll get a chance to don't worry okay All right. so the the cop is trying to attack the uh the old man socially first um so uh Franklin, go ahead and roll empathy real quick. Where did that dog go? Uh, I I step forward with my hands up in a very passive way. Mm-hmm. Listen, friend, uh, maybe my eyes aren't what they used to be, and I apologize. Uh, maybe we can figure out some sort of uh, 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 what is it, a fundraiser to get new cars? I I know that there's some function that I'm supposed to go to later on this month. I roll the four, by the way. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, the, no effect. That makes perfect sense. Um, can I interject here? Sure. I'm seriously gonna shit my pants if we don't get a bathroom soon. <laughs> Go ahead. And... Yes, Grandpa, please. <laughs> Go ahead and roll deceive. Okay. And yeah, and they'll they'll roll empathy to resist. Oh 
shit. I don't have any deceive, so well, am I just rolling a four? If you would like to, you could have deceive. You could put that on your character sheet. You know what? I was bullied a lot in high school, so there's two things that I'm really good at. Deceiving my enemies and stealthy and stealthing away from them so that they don't bully me. So I thought you were gonna say I'm, doing their homework. So <laughs> I'm 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 putting deceive and stealth into my plus three. Not wait, are they, didn't you have invest investigation? I do. So you can only have two plus threes. Right oh, now. two plus threes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's basically think of it like a pyramid: one, then two, then three. Yeah, then yeah, four. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had it reverse for some gotcha. reason. Okay, so stealth is going into plus two then. Okay. I wasn't very good at sneaking away from the bullies. All sure. Right. Mm-hmm. So plus three. All right. So what's your total? Uh, it's uh not minus minus not. It's a one. Okay. So. Wait. Nothing minus minus. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> the good news for you is they rolled poorly. Um, so what'll happen is they'll I'll take start making noises. <laughs> oh, come on, please! Yeah, I'm gonna shit my pants. You notice? And they... I'll get out of the car <laughs> and go over towards him. <laughs> and. Would I have like a device to like, it, like a fart spray? Would I have a fart spray? <laughs> you, you know what? You, you, you wouldn't. However, I would allow you to, if you wanted to, uh, give a, a fade point, use your modern day MacGyver and add a plus two to that. Or Ooh. reroll. Basically, uh, like you pulled out a fart spray effectively. No. Nah. I'll I'll see how well my deceive works. Okay, so they um you <laughs> they appear stressed. Uh, they're like, listen, we got to deal with this. Give us your license and your registration, and we'll 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 settle this. You could take your your shithead of a son off, but like you you smash into our car. This is ridiculous. Uh, and and then they're asking for license registration, but they're not. They don't get a turn yet, so it's not like they're attacking you. Um, So, Damien, what do you want to do? Uh, hmm. I say we, I say we just we take the hit, we take the loss. We're about to rob a bank. (laughs) Yeah, I can't think of. I can't think of what else we're uh, we I could do here. (laughs) I'm not going to shoot the cop. That would be. I mean, it would be awkward. It'd be a problem, yeah. Take the L. Just don't get put in jail. <laughs> All right. I, so what I would do is, I still got my hands up with my Slurpee cup, too, by the way, just, like, way above my head. Just way, pit stains on the shirt, too. Just way above my head. I'll just be like, whoa, dude, man, calm down. We can solve this, dude. That's all. <laughs> All right, no worries. So, if you want to concede, essentially, uh, you can. In this case, there will be mild consequences. And as you can imagine, you get a fine, and the police might be a little more um, aware of you. And that would apply to Franklin in this case. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Already be um, yeah, they're already super aware of me. I'm I'm sure of it. I, I yeah, if I don't know three police that I can pay off, then I would be very disappointed. <laughs> it's probably true. So so under consequences then at the bottom of your character sheet, in the two slot, the mild one, go ahead and put uh what's it called? Fine and like I don't know, cop notice. We'll put that. That seems fine, pun intended. All right. And then you proceed to, uh, they'll, they'll let you go after that, get your details and, and note that and all that. And they'll proceed to, uh, you know, 
As he goes to like get back in his car, I still have my arms up with the Slurpee and everything. <laughs> of course, you he do. still hasn't said I can put down my arms yet, so I'm just standing there like. Uh. <laughs> and they and they they won't they they'll drive <laughs> off before you, they even. <laughs> oh, what an ass! All right, making your way into the bank. Uh, it's a fairly you know it's 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 clean, it's uh, relatively modern. You know, a lot of natural light. Uh, there are, uh, looking at it, there's one television. Uh, it's it's pretty quiet. It's set to, um, it seems like. Bob Ross. Uh, no, not, not Bob Ross, but like a yeah, money is... channel, like like a stock market sort of report. Like stock there, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, um, you know, there's there's subtitles, but there's no sound. Uh, it looks like the TV's okay. muted. <laughs> so does my does my 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 um my program that I that mm-hmm. I made does it can I can it adjust that stuff automatically and when I activate it it turns the volume all the way up. Probably go mm-hmm. ahead and roll it. Okay, so is this craft? So I think first it will be stealth because you're trying to sneakily sort of uh get access to it so this is a what would be known as an overcome action uh you're just mm. trying to avoid notice in this case so go ahead and roll stealth okay oh and they rolled very poorly <laughs> on notice so well mm. three minuses and a blank with a minus one uh three minuses and a blank but they got four minuses so <laughs> So you still technically did better than them. Uh, so go ahead and roll your crafts now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my crafts are plus four. Yep. I mean, I rolled as poorly as you can. And I got a minus minus plus plus, so four. Okay. All right. Yeah, you could do that. Um. So emerge. And it's set. It's set to go off when I activate it with a, a text message. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you could definitely do that. You got an emergency broadcast program. And you got a great result. So you know what? We'll give you we'll give you two. All right. Uh I would while he's messing with the TV, I would like to just be kind of walking around the general access area, you know, the access the area where, you know, nobody's gonna take too much of a look at me for walking around and Kind of just try to side eye any cameras, guards, you know, anything I can investigate in the general area. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Roll or, investigate. Or, or that I can see through windows, like maybe the teller windows, et cetera. Sure. Now, are you uh, looking? So I are you looking don't to have investigate? So I got to take that. Uh, you don't have to, but you could. I'll put it in my two. All right. All right. So wait, what was your question uh, again? Are you trying to sort of figure out where they all are so you can avoid them when you guys are back there, or I just just I just would like this you know like be able to add more things to the map basically when gotcha. we get back. Sure, yeah, you know, yeah. Just any anything I can spot that could be a, a security device or security risk or or something that that I didn't see on the blueprints. Anything I didn't see on the blueprints. That is yeah, totally fair. like something that's going to possibly cause us to. Mm-hmm. run into a hang up sure sure yeah, yeah go for it oh so, like maybe the door to okay. the storage room might be a good thing to investigate. so Is it an oh yeah lock? yeah if, i don't know yeah i don't know if i can see that door but i i rolled a i see i rolled a one and i got a plus two so i've got three all right um so picking out things and i'll put them on the map here you can assume you you add them later uh, there's mm-hmm. a camera in the corner here. Uh, there's a camera uh, here in the teller room. And uh, you think that there's one uh, over the door as well, sort of leading in that way. Um, you think that there's actually a camera in the vestibule itself. So we're looking at the doors, presumably to make sure nobody's coming. Uh, there is a camera here covering the exit door mm-hmm. uh, you see a panel on the wall 
Uh, that's a more visible panic button, but you suspect they probably have some at their desks as well. Um, the under registers ones, yes, yeah. probably. Uh, but this is a more noticeable one for like if somebody happens to not be at a desk, they can do that. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as auto locking doors goes, uh, you do not think that the storage door uh, auto locks. It's likely that the vestibule doesn't one have like a doesn't have like a pin pad like entry code lock or anything. That it's yes, a... on the storage door. Yes, Ooh. the pin pad. Okay. Now, can I tell if the door's like a metal door versus like just a wooden door? Like a, you know, can I tell? In the in the case of the storage door, uh, from a glance, and you got a you got a great result. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, you think it's it's a fairly standard wooden door. Okay. Oh, so yeah. All right. We can just smash it then. Okay. Mm, I don't want to smash it. Mm-hmm. I, I I figure if we're gonna if basically all the information we need to gather is here, we're back at the at the the base, sure. our home base, discussing it. I don't think smashing the door is a good idea. We don't want to make any noise and alert anybody before mm. the broadcast system goes off. I have an mm. idea though. I will use my modern day MacGyver skills to fashion a code breaker. Sure. A small device that we can hook to the door and it will solve the code and open the door. All right. No smashing. Got it. Never get to smash. I don't know why. So what do I have to do for that? So you can you can set it up ahead of time. Go ahead and roll crafts to make the program. And then when the time comes, you'll be... So basically you're creating an advantage to get ready. And then when you actually go the day of, you'll be overcoming. Those are the actions, just so mechanically you understand. But so, uh, yeah. so this is going to be thing, a. Uh, there's yeah. one other thing you didn't point out. There's usually like a, a stationary armed guard somewhere. You know, a guy oh, you're like, right, guards. I apologize. Um, yeah. So yes, so there is a guard next to the door. Actually, guard. Uh, cont- it looks like kind of managing flow. Actually, there is somewhat reduced flow, uh, because there's a bit of a disease outbreak happening currently. And, oh, um, okay. and, uh, yeah, I think visibly you'd only see the one there. Cholera. Okay. Sure. <laughs> well, it's not the 1800s now. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's just from when Methuselah over it's, there is from. It's 2021. It's possible. <laughs> um, where are we at on this gas idea? I don't think we're going to do it. I think the emergency uh, broadcast uh, for the earthquake, incoming earthquake will solve the problem. It's a disguise. It's a disguise for the explosion that's inevitably going to happen. Mm. Yes. Sound good? Of course. I was just making sure I didn't need to call my gas guy. Oh, yeah, your gas guy. I mean, normally he just handles whippets, but, you know, he works with all kinds of gas. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll crafts to make your, your, your device, by the way. Gadget. Okay. <laughs> uh, minus, not, not, plus. So, a four. Okay, so it's it's great, yeah. You think that you have a uh, uh, a rooted, uh, rudimentary uh, hacking device? You think you have like a rudimentary hacking device that'll help you with that? So this is going to be a portable handheld device that I can give to one of them to go in. <laughs> yes, but the but they'll so whoever's using it. Basically, think of it like um, you'll be rolling your crafts because we're saying this computer. You're, you'll be rolling your crafts, but then this will give you a bonus because it's it's you know it's the thing you can call on or invoke. It's an aspect. Okay. 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 Either a reroll. Well, probably or a bonus. should be you then. 
the <laughs> other thing we should think about is disguises. Uh, do we go in wearing masks, or should we dress like uh, to blend in? Uh, well, since we're going to the back door, I definitely think we should just hide our face. Uh, what about janitor? The camera that can see it. Mm. Uh, I don't think janitors would come through that door either. I think that that that's a different door. Hmm. And there is a camera facing that door. So, uh, I think the best bet is to try to uh, loop the cameras. Do you think you can do that? So that way, basically, the guards wouldn't see us go coming through that door? I can certainly try. <laughs> Another thing for him to do. Yep. <laughs> the tech guy is being put to work. The tech guy is uh, always huge for the prep. Always. Yeah. So, what am I rolling for this? So, are you trying to set something up ahead of time, or are you just talking about when you're going to loop the cameras? So, I'd like to, I'd like to loop the cameras. That's the ultimate goal. So, I don't know if that's a setup ahead of time or if it's in the moment. Or... So that would be in the moment, probably. Okay. So, would I need access to something? In order to loop the camera? I could see that. Sure. You can't hack in to do that? I mean, I'd need an access point to hack in, right? Mm -hmm. Camera systems are usually on a standalone system. Yeah, a closed circuit system. Mm -hmm. I would like to roll rapport Mm -hmm. to try to get the manager to give my grandson a tour of the bank where he can wirelessly access whatever he needs to when he gets close enough. You know what? I could see that. Yeah, maybe when you guys okay. were there, g- go ahead and roll rapport. I love banks. They're so interesting. Did you know the first bank was formed in 1683? And so um we can have two plus threes, is that right? Yes. Then my second one will be rapport. All right. That's a one. <laughs> Yeah, can we can we dress like payday characters? <laughs> yes, <laughs> of course. Residential masks and stuff. <laughs> yep, of course you can. Yeah. You can cosplay as payday characters, and unfortunately, mm-hmm. they did better than you. So, uh, they do not give you the tour. Yeah, I asked, but I smell a little bit like old man farts. Uh, so. I, I appreciate it, but unfortunately, I'm afraid I can't. It's against security policy and all that, but it's, it's always Perfectly good to see. understandable. I appreciate you giving us the time and just speaking to us, and I shake his hand with that, like, double shake, you know? I always appreciate <laughs> the youth's interest in uh, in banking, and you know? please, you know, consider us when you grow up. <laughs> all right. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Anything Only else? if you give me a tour. Yeah. All right. That, w- that would have been uh, good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Day of. So, one more thing to yes. try and help with that camera. Mm-hmm. And maybe something to just help just in general. I'm going to go ahead and put a point. I'm going to put my last or my, my second skill in the plus twos into shoot. Uh-huh. And I would like to craft a gadget uh, that is sort of a a um, a taser gun. All right. But but it's it it doesn't have the the tethered wires or anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, taser dart gun. Yeah, they make those. Dart. Taser dart gun. Taser yeah. Dart, yeah. Yeah. Taser dart gun. Go that's, ahead. That's what I'm going to do. So am I crafting it? Um Yeah, we're kind of doubling that's up on crafting I right now. It's fine. Purchase it? Oh, yeah, use resources cuz it is a thing that exists. Okay, yeah. so resources. I'll put my third plus 2 into resources. Sure. I can picture your character being like, why would I waste my talent and knowledge when I could just buy it, you know? <laughs> you can always find what you need on Amazon. Ooh, zero. 
Minus, minus, not, not. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, that's kind of mediocre. Uh, Everybody wants a, a fortune for these things. Unfortunately. Mm hmm. All right. I guess we'll just have to be quick. Mm. Uh, I, explosives don't exactly work quick, you know. We, we, I, I gotta be very precise. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's not like not like I can just bring a bulldozer in there and just go to town. How long is it going to take you to set up the explosives? Uh, all right, Paul. Uh, yes. that, that would uh, be, I guess, a question to you, I guess. Um, uh, sure. You know, he's uh, he's proficient in in you know demolitions. That's his thing. Yes. But you know, uh, still you know time. you gotta. It takes time. You gotta you know you know find the weak spots and whatnot, and hey, he's gotta. So basically, in part, that depends on how well you roll. Um. If you, you know, depending on the, the result is going to, uh, so you're going to, unless you fuck it up with like a poor or terrible result, mm -hmm. um, y you know, y you'll get it done. How well you roll will affect how long it takes to set up. Let's put it that way. Mm. All right. So I would say I'd, I would at least need uh, 20 minutes of uninterrupted time to set up. 20 minutes? Mm. Uh, that's probably on the extreme end, but yeah. Well, we're going to need some sort of security for staying in that room for 20 minutes. What would we be... Uh... Would we be broadcasting the distraction, like, as soon as we enter, or? No. Maybe we should have gotten those kittens after all. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> are you getting yeah. the kittens? The kittens are back on board. <laughs> the kittens are back, I guess. <laughs> the kittens are fucking back, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It sure. takes at least twenty minutes to wrangle a giant box of kittens. <laughs> uh, he is also my ketamine guy. Uh, I want to see if he has uh, aerosol-based ketamine. Go for oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> Roll contacts. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh my god! I love Frank. <laughs> He's got a guy for everything. Of course he does. <laughs> that's, that's a three minus minus plus blank. Uh, so you you got a three? Yes. Uh, yeah, you can have uh, oh, uh, like a five minute burst of a can or something, just puts everyone in a K hole for a minute in case of emergencies. A K hole, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There you go. You got you got some aerosol ketamine. <laughs> it's a little tougher than other things, but yeah, you got it. Well, I don't know if you've ever woken up from a random K hole with a bunch of kittens around, but it's heaven. Perfect combo. Empathy. <laughs> they just they just come out of like like the this crazy trip, and there's just kittens all around. What? Hey, kitty, oh, did you okay. knock us out? Oh my god, I love uh, kitties. Kitty, did you cause the colors, kitty? <laughs> Okay, anything else? I love it. That sounds great. All right. Oh, I should roll for the cats too. Is that <laughs> Oh no, we are I'm using the roll from before. Uh... Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Kevin. You're the best. I'll see you at three. <laughs> you open the box, to... it's just a kittens and then a bottle of ketamine. <laughs> Aerosol <laughs> ketamine. Yes. Are they licking the top of the ketamine? Probably, but they don't know. Like, don't it's not pull leaking. that pin until we're ready. <laughs> It takes literally three seconds to aerosate. Now, Not knowing the right word for it. Yeah. Right, now, I'll, I'll, here's I'll a question. Right 
I'll, I'll be right. I have to pee. I'll oh yeah, yeah. Let's let's take a small break, grab a drink and stuff like that. That's before, a good right idea, before yeah. we go into the building. Yeah. How about that? All right. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you, so? What do folks think so far? This is such a silly game. It is. It, it Literally, can... nothing is off limits. Oh yeah. I mean, it can be silly, but it doesn't have to be. Obviously, it's it's how you play it. But it's you know. Yeah. You know, and and it, admittedly, it's been a while since I've run it, so who knows? I could be obviously, you know, running it all wacky. It just seems like a very much like a make it up as you go. It can be. Kind there's, of game. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of negotiation between the GM and the players about stuff. Um, mm-hmm. You know, because again, there's there's it boils down to the four things, right? So it's it's kind of meant to be just very narrative and not like super mechanical essentially right right um and like as you see with like frank for instance the 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 sort of character as you like build it as you go or even with eugene or or damien there it's just you know you sort of can develop the character as you go and the aspects like really lend themselves to that this is right. literally how i build my D D character every time so <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, exactly. Right. And that's like that's the cool thing about it is, I, I love aspects. I think it's one of the most powerful concepts in the whole game. And you know, I essentially put together my old role play, which was a uh, Scornando in a different situation. Just <laughs> switched out the voices. Nice. Scornando's a really lucky guy who has a lot of friends, and that's was that was his whole deal. <laughs> nice, but it works out, right? Like. You know, that's yeah. The, that's I, the, I love the idea of everyone coming up like Franklin or Frankie has a good, you know, and just everyone and their mom and little kids and just pigeons come up out of nowhere. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> well, and you'll you'll see that might come into play to bite you in a little. Oh bit. yeah, that's what I have as my. Uh, there's like a negative on there. I don't remember what it's called, but I have. Uh, knows everyone and knows everyone as my strength and weakness. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, the trouble? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the problem is that, I mean, I'm sure Frank owes 500 people money over the years, you know, even if it's 10 bucks or 100 bucks or 10,000, whatever. <laughs> I, I actually think of the scene in Ocean's Eleven when uh, f- the character Frank actually um, is going in as like Lyman Zerga and. Oh yeah. Uh, the guy approaches him like, "Hey, Saul." That's it. His name was Saul. Yeah. yeah. Hey, exactly. Saul, it's me. And he's like, "I yep. do not know this man." Like, you know, pretend to play, yep. play it uh, off. So yeah, it's, movie. Yeah, I, I love the movie. I also love that Brad Pitt was literally eating in just about every single scene in that movie. Yep, that's apparently the thing he does. He eats in a lot of scenes. Yeah. That's his thing. Yep. Just like uh, Tom Hanks likes to be filmed peeing. <laughs> Every movie, man, he forces us to watch him pee. Think about that. Like in a league of their own. Is the best Apollo. Part. Yeah, I'll be literally like. Yeah, that's a 30 yeah. second yeah. peegasm we have to watch. There's also the Green um, Mile. Yeah, the Green yeah. Mile. <laughs> I think Tom Cruise Apollo always 13. likes to run. <laughs> If I remember right, Bruce Tom. Willis likes yeah. the oh, Tegar, movies. Here. Have a good night, Tagar. Thanks for chilling. Uh, oh, Bruce, I, uh, Bruce Willis. Uh, I, I will be saving this. I'll probably be making a highlight of this. So if you wanted to come back and <laughs> check out what happened, you can. Bruce Willis only um, only does movies with numbers in the title. Oh, wow. I'm back. Welcome back. And that's that's funny. Yes. Yeah. Tom Hanks literally for the most expensive scene that was ever filmed, I think it was like, what was it? Vanilla skies. They closed mm. down the, the mm. that place in New York and he just ran through it. That was the whole scene for yeah. like 11 minutes. Yeah, he loves running. <laughs> That's the thing. He loves yeah, running. Like really, you got to understand he's really expensive to close down a place in New York. The, the, yeah. The places in New York make millions of dollars per hour. So just you being close open by proxy. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. The, okay. the, the 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 toy store that they used in uh, Home Alone. FAO Schwartz. It's called 
Yeah, yeah. FAO Schwartz. So FAO Schwartz will never close down uh, for anybody for anything, but they'll close down sections. They just for a small section, the uh, the holiday section that they allowed them the film uh, uh, Hol- uh, Home Alone in. They charge Home Alone like millions of dollars. Yeah, just the movie just to big. use a section. Big, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. Also, one where we have to watch Tom Hanks pee. Well, Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you folks, uh, it's the day of making your way there. And Don't hit any cops this time. When we meet up, like we all meet up in a park randomly, and I walk up from a block and a half and away, and you can hear me already, like making my way downtown, walking fast. Oh God! <laughs> I have an iPod Shuffle, <laughs> the tiny one. Oh God! Of course. I would be. I'd be. Uh, I'd be. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be rocking the Nixon Max. Makes sense. Nixon mask. Oh yeah, of yeah. course. I'm not a crook. I'm not a crook. And uh, Eugene, what are you doing? Uh, I don't think he's gonna be wearing any kind of disguise. All right, just himself. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, Ballsy. You make your ways to the uh, to the bank. Now, are you I, folks? I think I've lost my Discord. Oh, what? What? I, I, I can't load my Discord. What do you I mean? Hear you though. So. All right. I, oh, sometimes I the wind... to load my Discord so I could see things, see you guys talking, but I can't even. It won't load. I, don't, I think my Discord's broken. Oh, sometimes it gets weird where like Windows open, like yeah, it, it can get odd. Well, that way. But it's okay. You can still hear us. Um. So yes. So you folks make your way there, and uh, yes, you can see the. Uh, Franklin, you uh, you realize again, your luck has uh, the pendulum has swung. Yet again, the place is super packed. It's very busy. There's a lot of eyeballs everywhere. Unless you want to give me a fade point. I, I thought this was supposed to be a good time. This is perfect. All right. All right. This is the kittens. Although there'll be more people to wrangle the kittens. It'll take them long, less than 20 minutes. Well, the ketamine but... will be just as potent either way. <laughs> and if you time it to where when they're waking up and the broadcast plays, no one will ever be the wiser. There's a scene aspect, and I will give you the fate point. There you go. Uh, there's a scene aspect of packed with people. Just full, uh, full of folks. So are we... You think? Say again? How many go people ahead. you think? No. I mean, there's, there's a queue of... 10, 15 people. There's people sitting with the personal bankers. There's people in the lending. There's 37. It's That's a gift. People I've ever gotten high at once. <laughs> it's probably true. All right. Here's how it's going to go down. I'm not going to be much use to you once we're in there anyway, so I'm going to let the bomb take effect of me as well, and I'm going to wake up with everyone. Nice. Just watching the door for me while I do the explosives. God, yeah, I'll I'll do that. Uh, yeah, you got to get us in the door. So yeah, yeah, I'll I'll do that. All right. So are you just gonna walk in the front with the like the ketamine like in your and pocket? the kittens? Yes, <laughs> the kittens. with my mask on. Oh my! So I'll have to time it perfectly. 
So I'll stay outside until you're ready. You give me the signal on this. And I pull out a little flip phone. <laughs> oh <laughs> Old school. God. Again, 2021 in this world. <laughs> yeah. Can, I take, yeah, yeah. can I take 20 minutes for him to receive that text message? Didn't we didn't we bring walkie talkies? Yes, we did. Everybody yeah. has an earpiece. Oh god, I hear give, it uh, in my ear for the first time. <laughs> give me a fate point and you got it. Oh shit. Let's <laughs> something we would have bought just when we were at the like the general store. That would have been in preps. Prep that would have been a prep food. thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> This phone works fine. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll, we'll, know, we'll know when the ketamine goes off. Yeah. Well, you want me to be the signal? Is that what you're saying? No, we'll just know because we'll start seeing people dropping. That's what I'm saying. I'll let the. Well, I'm not going to do it until the signal. So if I'm the signal, okay, I'll walk in signal. and. Get it. Here's the signal, you dummies. We time it, okay? Ten minutes from this point right now. So set your watches. Beep, beep. Ten minutes. Like the 1980s style digital watch. Yep, little, exactly. little stop. Yeah, of course. Exactly. They can't be hacked. <laughs> so, I'm unhackable, oh, baby. <laughs> and then he drops the ketamine and the kittens. I don't know why we have ket ketamine and kittens. <laughs> you wake up to a kittens all over the floor. <laughs> it's a cat tranquilizer. The cats That's are why Kevin be all deals with it. Up on it too. <laughs> yeah. Oh all right. Best so part is the cats will be waking up at the same time as the people. So they'll be like all crazy. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I imagine and it's going to hit them harder. I'll text our blackmail our blackmail uh, victim and tell him ten minutes from now you open the door or the pictures go out. Okay. Uh, honestly, I think the cats will be less affected because they metabolize faster and they'll be near the floor where the gas is thinner. Mm, that's possible. Depending yeah, on if I walk yeah, in and hold mean, it in the air. I mean, <laughs> works, really, works really hard on humans. It's not meant for us. So. Yeah. And um. You you send the message. He'll be ready. Okay. All right. Ten minutes. It is. Let's go. Uh, let's go get ready. So I guess we would go up towards like the back. Well, sure. me and him, me, uh, the Frank would go around to the front, but me and him would go around to the like the back, the prep, and wait for the door to open. Sure. No mask, no disguise on, just kind of hanging out in the parking lot, like maybe smoking a cigarette. Yeah, that Nixon mask with the jumping nose, you know, from Payday. Of course. I'm wearing I have... it outside. <laughs> I have my headphones on and I'm like, just a city boy. <laughs> Born and where's it so to Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like uh, starting from a block away or so, trying to time it perfectly, you know, so that I walk in right at the right time. Of course. Of course you A couple are. blocks away, I guess. Yep. Sure. Yeah, no, you, you can do that. <laughs> And uh, all right, the uh, at the appropriate time, so ten minutes, the door opens, and the uh, the guard sort of looks out, and sort of looks away real quick, and just goes back in. Catch goes, the door. Goes back to his post. What? Catch the door before it closes. Sure. Yeah. Hand out. Grab it. Yep. Mm -hmm. And in. I'm gonna turn my back and walk backwards into the into the hallway. Sure, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> and uh, I'm the gonna door. slip on my Nixon mask sure. before I before I go through the door, of course. No, of course. And then I'll go up to the door and plug in the device. All right. And it's him to unlock the door. Go ahead and roll crafts for me. Uh, burglary for me again. Sorry. Burglary. Burglary, but. You get a bonus for your rudimentary hacking device. If you want to ah. use it, you can get a plus two or a reroll. I'll take talk. And what am I rolling? Crafts? A burglary. Oh, burglary. Mm -hmm. And I've got a zero to burglary. Right? Unless you want to put it in a slot somewhere. 
I'm going to put burglary into my plus two. All right. You already get a plus one as well from the tool. Well, it would be a plus two from the tool. Oh, so you get a plus four. No. Yeah, you get a plus four. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to do a... Oh, God. This is scary. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a six. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Plus, plus, not, not. Okay, plus, plus, not, not. Yeah, so there you go. You've got to get in real quick then. So, yeah, so... Like, almost immediately, like, almost no time at all, just door open. Like, I just kind of grab them and, like, we rush into that door. In fact, you got in there so quickly, I'll say that... Uh, if there was a person monitoring the cameras, you don't know. You think you got in there quick enough that they probably didn't even notice you. Nice. All right. All right. Close the door behind Frank us. Should, Frank should be going off any minute now. He, yeah. He's got 30 seconds. Uh, I, I was going to say, um, get I on, probably, you probably hear me uh, walk in at this point. I walk in, I'm like, street lights, people. And I'm like pumping my fist, but there's clearly a device in it. I walk in. Uh, I have my James Monroe mask on. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) But but here's the worst part about that. You're clearly going to get affected, so it's not like... <laughs> like all right. yeah, I, uh, I set the kittens down, open the box on its side so they pour out, and I pull the trigger and toss it up into the air as I pull my mask and stuff it into, like, onto my butt. <laughs> oh, like you... Like, eat- as people start to go down from the smoke, I'm like, oh my god, it's gas! And then, like, <laughs> the ketamine starts kicking in. <laughs> and then, uh... That's whatever I pull my my mask off. When I see the first person start to go down, that way I could explain it off like a hallucination. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're going to say that happens. All right. So literally, uh, you, you can hear, oh, my God. You can hear screams from the other rooms and people like. Uh, are there any, is there any like fabric inside of the room? Uh, it's probably like paper towels and stuff like that. Paper towels? Inside of the storage room? Oh, yeah. Is there we're, any, also, like, we're also uh, behind a door on you know, on a far side of a big building, so... Yeah, yeah. but I'm still going to I'm still gonna stuff paper towels yeah. underneath the door. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you, can, you can do that. You think you think you probably blocked it enough. Is it like a will roll to try to hold out longer than everyone Physique. else? Physique. Physique. Yes. Go ahead and roll physique. Hold out, hold out oh, indefinitely? Okay. I was going to take athletics, but yeah, physique for my third level two slot. Is that right? Up to you. Cool. So I have. You're a built old man. Yeah, I have uh, empathy, physique, and I'm not settled on the third one, I guess. I have drive there, but you know. Sure. I can go ahead and roll it. Let me know what you get. It's a four. Okay, so um, yeah, no, you 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 can hold out. Uh, basically, you can outlast people, but you will since you're intentionally succumbing. Yeah, will not succumb. well. I mean, at some point, once everyone goes out, I'm like, not my first K hold. I just go out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've um, you've got. So down. I would immediately start putting down the explosives as quick as possible. Uh, all right. I was going to say, if I hold out long enough, I'd like to pick up the device if it stops spitting out gas, you know, like. <laughs> yeah, you could probably do that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you, you you did great. So, yes, you, you can do that. Um... <laughs> Stuffing down the front of my pants. Nice. That way, if it's an Literally. issue, I can be like, that's my wiener. <laughs> Why are you touching an old man's wiener in a bank right now? <laughs> Where is my grandson? Help. Where's my pudding? <laughs> Tapioca. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead, uh, Damien, and roll a uh, roll shoot because we were saying that was going to be our demolition skill. <laughs> uh sometimes if you want to, so, you can. I got a four. Well, if you want to, you can add two to that because you've prepared an appropriate amount of explosives. Okay, so then six. All right. Uh, so that is fantastic. So you get that in 
maybe a minute. So we were thinking 20 minutes and it's yeah, fucking... I just, so I just turned to him after like a minute passes. I go, all right, done. All three spots are set. Uh, okay, well, uh, wait one moment. Oh, shit. So I want to look around the storage room and look for something we can kind of like duck behind. Well, if you want to give me a fate point, sure. I mean, well, there's got to be like a table or just anything I can grab. I mean, not like something special. Oh, I mean, there's, you know, there's there's boxes and things like that. It's it's storage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then like a just a pile of boxes in the far corner, I would say. Sure. I'm going to I'm going to open the storage door, look out the hallway. Can I see the camera moving at all? Uh, no. Is it, it like pan left to right? No, it's a static one. It's like a fish eye. Uh, yes, probably. Okay, so I am going to put my hands over my face. Yeah. And walk to where the wall is directly beneath the camera and just put my face up against the wall. Yeah. And But before I do this, I want to check to see if everybody's asleep inside of the... Inside well, there's the something. Studio. You don't know if it's asleep is the right word, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is You're there like still gas the everywhere? Floor, acting Wait. weird. We call that the pile. What one dude swimming on the floor? The rub tub. Yeah. <laughs> Is there still gas everywhere? No. At this point, I think it would have dissipated. It's been about a minute. Remember? Okay. Yeah. So okay. So what about this door that's um uh next to the to the camera? Oh yeah, you can. Oh, I mean, it's the women's bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay, the men's I'm gonna bathroom. go into. I'm gonna go into the women's bathroom. <laughs> yeah, it's it's both <laughs> bathrooms technically. Yeah, that's where I'm going. I'm going to the women's bathroom. Sure. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I I'm gonna tell him, hey, why don't we just like leave the storage room before the bombs go off, and we'll go to the toilet. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow him. All right. Yeah, you can do that. Um, Make sure you keep the door propped open. And uh, yeah, beep 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 beep. And you set it off. Yes. And a uh, you know. Okay. Make sure. Make sure to uh, do the emergency broadcast. And the explosion rocks the building. <laughs> yeah, well, it 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 didn't matter because everybody was still on a ketamine high. So it, it... well, yeah, but we want them to wake up to that just in case, like you know, there's like dust and you know, we try to scare them out of here or something. I don't know. Yeah, okay, emergency broadcast. I'm gonna text the the code and set it off. All right, so it will go off. Currently, everybody's high as fuck right now, but you know. <laughs> That's a thing. Um, yes. Make your way back to the, the room. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. You've uh, you've blown a hole clean through the wall. Well, not clean, but you've blown a hole through the walls. Um uh, and the and the, the drainage in that room yes. too, right? And the sewer, yes. So so we want to put a the wood plank we, we brought to sure. over the over that so we can easily walk over that. Yep, you can do that. You can get okay, across uh, that. I would go into the teller's part first. And I would uh, go into the safe deposit vault. So uh, I guess we both need to investigate from there to see what we find. Sure. Both of you roll investigate. Four. That's great. All right. I only got a one. Yeah, it's average. Um, so in the teller's vault, you notice that, I mean, the, the thing that draws your attention is the pile of money partially burnt from the explosion, but, uh, you know, still mostly intact. Uh, yeah, yeah. Off the top bills. I'll just brush off those top bills and start stuffing yeah. the good bills in, the, in a bag. Sure. Yeah. You know, you can definitely do that. In the safe deposit vault, uh, you did great. So you notice um, the process of blowing open the wall has opened some of the safety deposit boxes, in part the pressure and obviously an explosion. Um, you notice that several of the things had, you know, papers and other stuff, and they're they're just <laughs> they're they're on fire or destroyed, but. Some of them had things like diamonds, which aren't so easy to damage. Like, mm -hmm. and you, you could easily grab those. 
Yeah, I'm easily grabbing those. And if inside of those same boxes that there's diamonds in there, if there's any documents that are intact, I'd like to take those as well. Uh, yeah, sure. You know, you did great. Yeah, you could say that. Could be used for, uh, more um, blackmail. Sure. In the future, of course, so, of course. Uh, doing that. Uh, and a uh, get inside of a, a you do hear an alarm, by the way. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's a uh, smoke alarm. Oh, smoke alarm. Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Okay. Um, is the door right there next to the tellers? Is is that door unlocked from the? Can I open it from the inside? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna open that door. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. Shit. Hop the counter and run over to the electrical and shut off the power. Okay. All right. Um uh, go ahead and roll athletics. Okay. As you're trying to hop the counter, which is you know, it's very awkward. Sure. And I've only got a plus one in athletics because I'm a fucking nerd. There you go. Uh, two. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's fair. Uh, you can get you can get up there and, and get across and sort of make your way there. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, crafts to turn off the power. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Or more Seven. like disable the alarm. What's up? Seven. That is epic. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You're just like and and in fact, you think that um. It might have been delayed even. And you you think you got it before it even sort of got the word out. Sent any word out. Okay, cool. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to head back, sure. pop the counter again, and go back into the safe, uh, the vault. In fact, you, you did so well. You think you cut the power to the cameras. Ooh, nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, back into the vault and stuffing as much uh, as I can into bags. And uh, I'm going to find... I'm gonna make several like smaller bags with with uh uh for the drone, um yeah. The drone sure. Yeah, yeah. How many duffel bags will I have to fill to grab all this money? Um, probably four or five. Okay, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a bit. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit. But yeah, and you're, uh, Eugene's grabbing stuff, and Franklin is high as fuck right now. I say fuck Franklin. I'm sorry, freak. I say freak Franklin. So... <laughs> More uh, money for us. So, uh, is the teller door between the, the deposit, or the, is that open, or do I have to, like... To talk to him, do I have to like look through the hole to the other room? Oh no, it's it's open. I mean, at this right, point, you are. blew a hole through it; it opened. <laughs> Gra grab as much as you can, but we we we're gonna need to get out of here soon. Right. So, I would like to use one of my fate points <laughs> to have a donkey be in the sewer waiting for them, like with satchels, like a pack <laughs> mule. <laughs> I accept. I because my donkey guy. All right, all right. I got. I, I, I got. I got to discover this though, like accidentally. So of course. I'm, I'm gonna, the first two yeah. bags I fill, uh, I, you know, I, I can only carry like two at a time because that that much money shoved in a bag gets heavy. Oh yeah. So I, I got two over his shoulder, and then I look down the hole. Hey, and, huh? uh, what the? <laughs> there's a donkey down in the sewer. Yeah, like, yeah, I, I, so. I I think he mentioned something about a donkey guy. One hundred percent. It's wearing yeah, sunglasses. I mean, yeah, <laughs> whatever. Th this works, yeah, man. All right, and I'll I'll just load up the donkey with those two duffel bags and go back to loading up the other, the rest of the cash. 
So I'm loading up smaller bags with the most expensive items. So if I can find large bills and put them inside of smaller bags, I'm doing that. And the diamonds and uh, valuables from the safe deposit boxes. Sure. And I'm I'm taking those out the door, and I'm going to call in the drone swarm. Yeah, and they'll, uh, you know, they'll, they'll come pretty quickly, and they'll they'll fly off. All right, sweet. And they're going to a predetermined location. Yep. Awesome. Um, Damien. Here. You begin to realize, and I'm offering you a fate point on this one, and if you want to reject it, you have to give me a fate point, that, you know, you've you've always packed enough explosives, and uh, this time was no exception. You begin to realize that your explosives were so effective in making this hole in the wall, you think it, the roof has started to partially collapse. How many fate points do you have? I actually still have all three. You still have all three? Okay. Yeah. Never mind then. The roof is st so like like it's starting to clap as in like we gotta go. Like yes. So if you don't if you accept the fate point, yes, basically. But if you give me a fate point, you don't have to worry about it. It looks like after actually it's you know sturdier than you expected. How much when I notice this, how much of the cash would I have? Because I already put two bags away. How much of it would I still? You would have, have had bags? a third. You would have filled just filled your third bag. Just filled my third bag. I can I use a fate point in his place? No. I mean, I, oh. I mean, I still have three fate. I still have three fate points. So I'm gonna go ahead and just. Uh, I'm going to use one, but I'm not going to say that it's not collapsing. I'm going to say instead that I uh, grab like uh, like a, a a bar or something from the storage room and prop up the, the piece of the ceiling. Temporarily. There, so get, yeah, so I sure. have more time. Or yeah. you could use my modern day MacGyver and use the, the Spider-Man webbing that I have in <laughs> my pocket. <laughs> I think I think that uh, Damien wants to potentially collapse it to cover the exit. <laughs> oh, good idea. Exactly. Yeah, that's I what I was like, picking up. Yeah, exactly. So, like, I want it to just hold up long enough for us to get out, and then, and then we'll basically sink in the sewer hole. Yep. Okay. And I'll just ride off on the donkey. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. Uh, um, okay. Yeah, so you you can grab your other bags. Uh, I'm trying to think of how long does a ketamine last? Does it matter? As soon as the like, drones are gone, I'll go back into the. I mean, fucking... We did it. We did it so fast with the you know less than a minute yeah. of setting up and yeah. everything. Yeah. Uh, you you know, I'm well? going to. I'm going to. After I've done, I'm done with the drones. I'm going to walk into the personal banker's area where. Uh, where he is, and I will use uh, modern day MacGyver to procure a ketamine cure. Uh, it says 30 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes of After Effects. <laughs> nice. Go ahead and roll. Uh, do you have a fate point to spend on that, Eugene? I do have a fate. Then go ahead and spend that and uh, roll. Uh... I I guess technically it would be it would be crafts. Go ahead. The first result oh. for me googling that is called talk to Frank. I just didn't know. Ah. I figured that <laughs> should be mentioned. Nice. <laughs> Five. Okay. Yeah. So the equivalent of Narcan, but like for ketamine, uh, flushes yes. your system, Frank. You're lucky I came prepared. As oh, you up, ruined my buzz, Jay. As what? you're waking up, you hear the roof collapse and, and me the going, groan Giddy up, donkey! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> As the uh, room finishes collapsing. Well, his name's Quixote. <laughs> Can I, I use a fate point to prevent that from happening? I, I think... I think we'll end it there, actually. I think that that's pretty great. <laughs> Just literally, Quixote rides off into the sewers. 
<laughs> and 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 Frank and Eugene and, grabs onto yeah. a drone <laughs> and <laughs> takes off into the sky and tries to leave. Like, oh god, you're on your own, Frank. 